Hello everyone, I hope all you're doing very well. Uh, I mentioned on my previous video and I said what happened if you buy product from Alibaba or AliExpress and the seller send you the wrong product. Like maybe product is the same, maybe different color or different design. It happened on me and I want to share with you guys. It happened about uh, over two and a half months ago. and. One of my customers asked me, guys, uh, for iPhone 12, before iPhone 12 has come out, and before he bought iPhone 11, guys, and for this guy's full shockproof one, hard guys, so as uh, uh, not glasses, as a hard plas plastic, and doesn't get a like yellow color, not like this one, after like two, three months. They change the colors, get the yellow one. And he got their camera protector. He said they need exactly the same for iPhone 12. He, need a one he said he need 1,500 for iPhone 12 and 500 for iPhone 12 Pro Max. I contact my uh, supplier. I said, uh, I sent him this picture. I said, last time I bought this product for iPhone 11, I need for iPhone 12. Do we have exactly the same? says yes we have say okay so i need 1000 skies after like 10 days and they ship it by fedex i received the product when i open the package i have received this product the design is the same same design around but the only difference is this one doesn't have the camera protector and i contact I sent an email, I said, uh, you sent me the wrong product. They said, no, we sent you the correct uh, product. I said, no, I sent him the picture. So look, they doesn't have the camera protector. He said, oh, this guy doesn't come uh, with the camera protector. I said, you should tell me before because this order is for my customer and he, he ordered like 1000 guys. And I asked you well, before I order, and he said, we have a disguise, even I sent you the picture. I said, I want this product exactly the same. And he said, we have. He said, sorry, you know, we sent it through. Uh, he said, uh, it doesn't come with this, uh, this camera protector. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, well, I have to send it back. He said, can you check with yeah, your buyer if he like it, maybe? Uh, so I contact my buyer, I said, uh, do you like this product? They send it, but doesn't have the camera protector. He said, no, I need exactly the same for iPhone 11. I need something for a camera protector. Um, I said, for seller, the customer is not happy, so I have to send it back. He said, before you send it back, check how much it costs. Went to the post office and the price cost for 1,000 skies. Shipped by DHL was $665 and the FedEx was more expensive. I sent from here to China was around like $800 cost. And uh, I sent I sent email to uh, supplier. I said that's the price. And it's past like three days, they didn't reply my message and I contact. Uh, Alibaba customer service. I said I've received the wrong product, and Alibaba the reply back in one hour, quick reply, and uh, they asked me to send them the picture of the product, and I sent the picture of this product, and the video. Guys, before I'm talk about this one, whenever you buy product from Alibaba or AliExpress, do some video like for ten or twenty second video all before you open like around the package like today i've received this product before i open this package so what i did i did like quickly the video all around the package and around these sites they have the tracking number send it by fedex or my address and supplier address and then I opened the package and uh, I did quickly, I checked, it was alright everything. This one is a screen protector, two screen protector, 
in one package uh, for iPhone 11 this one is for the same for this customer and always I do like even uh, if I have a like uh, good supplier always I do for the safety in case something goes wrong you have a proof for Alibaba and uh, I sent him that video and with a picture of the skies and Alibaba and they reply back I said if supplier doesn't reply we give him 10 dice if he doesn't accept return so if he's not agree so what we do we give you full refund and keep the product and after five days the seller contact me and he said sorry one of his family passed away and uh, he couldn't reply my message and he said to me we, we make some deal i give you 500 dollar refund he said we we agree we send you the wrong product but they give you 500 dollar refund and plus next time when you order we give you another 15 percent off because the seller was smart he knows i buy big quantity lost him this customer he bought three thousand disguise uh, for iphone 11 pro iphone 11 iphone 11 pro max all mix is coming three color uh, black, blue, and red. Uh, it's all up 3,000 guys. And he knows he doesn't want to lose me. He wants to do long term business with me. And he said, uh, next order, uh, we give you another 15% off to Sidori Happy. I said, yes, because it wasn't hard for me to sell this product. So I sold. I have a heaps of customers. They, they have a shop and they do. Uh, they have an eBay and Amazon seller too. <coughs> And uh, I know I'm gonna sell this product quickly too. And they give me, I got a $500 and uh, next order I got a 15% off. So always guys, before you buy any product, it's always better to don't buy first and big quantity. Ask uh, for sample, maybe one or two or three uh, um, pieces, something like this time. This customer asked me again for hard case for iPhone 12. They send me uh, one sample. I want to check, double check the case. And it's very high quality, exactly like the similar of this one. This one is more high quality one. But this one is the hard case one. Very hard case. And I, this, I want to check and I check the quality is good. Everything is all right. I'm, I'm sure that my buyer you're gonna like this product too yeah guys always do not buy big quantity even if you know the seller if you might be dealing for the seller for a long time always first order sample two three four five small quantity check the color check the design quality happy next order buy big quantity and the other important things any product you receive even if you know the seller for a long time Take like 15, 20 seconds, quick video before you open the package. Get a picture, do quickly video, and guys, you never know. Sometimes maybe the product is good, maybe they see the wrong color. Always communicate with the uh, Alibaba AliExpress on Ali chat or AliExpress chat. Not like some of the sellers, they send you the uh, VChat or maybe WhatsApp. They're gonna talk with you there and case something goes wrong so alibaba can track it so you communicate on alibaba so they knows like you chat with them about the product about the payment or about the uh, product color or design so it's more safe and the other thing never ever <coughs> make the payment by western union or uh, bank traffic bank transfer uh, paypal is good safe to uh, but I'm not using for Alibaba on uh, PayPal because uh, Ali Express is, uh, Alibaba payment is more safe Alipay because uh, when I buy product most of you maybe know uh, when I buy the product money is sold by Alibaba it's not with the seller so once I may receive the product and if I'm happy so then I tell for Alibaba I'm happy with the product so then they release the money for the seller if there is an issue, so the money is sold by Alibaba. 
Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. On my next video, I'm going to talk about yeah about these guys. Uh, so it has a very good profit too, very cheap the prices and the quality is very high quality one it's not like this one like they sell it for like 10 cents or 15 cents one but this one is a little bit more expensive but very high quality one and on my next video i'm going to talk about this product i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time